Okay, guys, hopefully this is going to be a quick and painless how-to for the Free Sky module in the Turner G9 Act. So I have the DJT uh, transmitter module and the D8R plus receiver with telemetry. And I got both of these from Aloft Hobbies, so be sure to check these guys out. I even have a little comic with their packing slip. So good price. I got, got it in two days. And what's even more surprising is that you get manuals for both uh, your transmitter module and your receiver. So, and this little slip actually talks about uh, setting up fail safe on your receiver, which is one of the main reasons I purchased this setup. So, you know, once I get, get it up and going, I'm going to uh, finish up my fail safe series with using this module. And as you're probably well aware that the range on these things is pretty amazing. So they have a frequency hopping built in. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll, we need to get rid of the existing Turnigy module that's installed. So if you notice, pull it out, it's connected to this antenna. So we'll go ahead and take the back off and then uh, remove the antenna for this module. Okay, we're going to gently separate the front and the back. You notice inside there's going to be this cable. So we'll go ahead and disconnect it. Okay, so first thing you're going to notice is that the antenna from this module kind of comes through the back, through this hole, and then goes up to the top of this rubber ducky. So I'm not going to try to disconnect the antenna cable here. I'll go ahead in the module, open this guy up, and then we'll desolder the connection and be able to dismount the antenna up here. So pull those off, and then I can take the back of this module off. And you'll notice the circuit board is just held into the module tray with a little bit of hot glue. But if you take a look at our antenna you'll notice two solder joints just right there and we'll go ahead and desolder those and remove the antenna connection from the board so what I'll do is I'm just putting a little bit of tension by pulling the antenna a little bit and I'll go ahead and work on these joints okay now we're disconnected so I'll put the circuit back in this tray and we'll pull this antenna out and what we'll do next is we'll actually if you notice there's a little set screw on the right on the base of this antenna so we'll undo that and we'll be able to pull the antenna out okay looking good just pull this all the way through and this is just good to to do I mean I could have just yanked it out I guess but it's just good to do in case you know you ever want to go back to your old uh, Turnigy module or in case you want to sell it and keep your free sky. Okay there's one other antenna piece right here that I've undone and we'll pull out it's that guy right there. Okay now we'll go ahead and install the free sky module kind of plug and play Get in there and just click it into place. Now I will point out there are like embedded module versions that uh, don't sit on the back of your transmitter but I went ahead, went ahead with the DJT module version just uh, so that I could have kind of a plug and play experience and we need to get our plug back in place and now we can proceed with putting the screws back in. So let's go ahead and power this up. You actually notice that's a different sound emitted from the transmitter module than the standard Turnigy module. And just so I make sure I make a note of this, I, when I was doing the install of the module, I did not have the battery connected or even in the base. So make sure, keep that in mind. I know that's a given, but just wanted to point that out. Okay, so the first thing you're go going to do is make sure that your configuration is in PPM mode 
when you first power up, you know, after you power up your uh, free sky for the first time. And then I'll go ahead and power it down. Okay, the first test we're going to do is we're going to just test the binding sequence. So I'm going to hold the module button down, this white button. They call it the FS button. And then I'm going to power on the transmitter. And now you can see that we're in bind mode, uh, waiting for the receiver to respond. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to replace the 9X receiver with the FreeSky D8R Plus. So I'm basically going to change out my servo leads and put them in the appropriate spots here. And then we'll go ahead and bind. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our transmitter in bind mode. There we go. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and power our receiver in bind mode, which is going to be this little guy right there. So I'll power up the quad while we have this button depressed. And as you can see, our module and our receiver are bound. Let me point out one thing that was very counterintuitive. So when the bind happens from the receiver level, it means the receiver will blink. Okay, and I was thinking, you know, I kept watching it and I was like, why isn't it binding? Well, it was actually bound already. And what I needed to do was power down and power back up. And now you can see that the LED is solid. So... Uh, just a heads up when you're going through the process. And what's really cool about this upgrade is that obviously any of your model settings remain the same and you're really just changing out the you know, tr transmitter setup. So let's go ahead now that we're bound and I'll just give it a little arming sequence. And it looks like we're good to go. So I uh, hope that was useful. I'm going to now do some follow-up and experimentation related to uh, fell safe for the NASA and you know dive into some of the free sky telemetry options. So uh, that's it for now. Post any comments if you have them and thanks for watching.